pole jam, into the tic tac, into the toe drag, into the can't ride straight, into the ride into the dirt, into the jump off the skateboard. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Surprisingly, this week I have no complaints about people submitting videos incorrectly. You guys followed the three steps perfectly. As usual, today we will be reviewing two videos. Let's start with this video. It's called Andrew Murphy Ninja Review Again Habib. Rewind play. Starting off. Switch flip. Switch heel. So at least now we know we're gonna get some switch tricks in here. We get a manual. He's already mixing it up more than most people. Not too much roll up, not too much roll away. Hands on the skateboard. Not a fan of that. A lot of roll away here for some reason. Got the tail stall, tail slide, blunt. Uh, I think he probably could have cleaned that up a little bit. Uh, the slappy switch front crook, or should we call that fakey? I don't know. I think what could have been done better here is to not fall into the tail slide. Popping out is always going to look better. Then he does it both ways, and again right here, falls into the nose slide, and what it looks like right here is that there's another bank on the other side of this. So if he's having a problem popping out of the front crook, he could have just rolled off the edge and this would already be a better clip. The trucks are looking loose also. Maybe you guys can tell me, oh, I like that, hold on. I'll talk about the trucks in a minute. I like that he didn't ollie into this. He kind of bashed his front wheels into it before going into the blunt, which makes it a lot harder. The pop out was good. Uh, the loose trucks. Does that make the slappies easier? Because I've had a really fundamental problem learning slappies. And I feel like a tic-tac right there. I feel like my trucks are loose, but I guess that's relative. Little manual here, which usually wouldn't be a big deal, but it looks like a complete lack of control on the way out. Didn't quite do a, uh, a toe drag. That was pretty cool, I guess. We get Nolly back heel, we've got Nolly, we've got Switch, we've got Slappies, we've got uh, Banks, we've got Flip Tricks. I mean, so far, so good. Grinding the Crooked Grind. We got some Fakey on the tiny flat bar. That's the flat bar that I need. No slide into the Crook. Another question, are those easier with the loose trucks? The loose trucks here also, I don't know if you guys have a pet peeve with it, but if you're always sort of bending down and almost wheel biting, probably kind of not aesthetic, in my opinion. You never, well, you rarely see that with Daywon, but again, I don't want to compare this guy to Daywon. What was that? Did he go, did he jump into a feeble there? I feel like we're rewinding a lot in this video. He did jump into the feeble and 180. Really nicely done. I did a trick similar to that a few weeks ago on our Flat Bar Friday series. Varial heel, we have regular. We got some blurry footage. I couldn't really tell what happened there. Fakey Big Heel could have cleaned that up with the uh, the small tic tac there. Switch backside flip, and again right there. I don't think his heel drags, but it comes dangerously close. And it for me it looks like a lack of control. But some people might see that as the opposite. All you have to do is lean a little bit to regain control. So I would love to hear your guys' thoughts about that. Not really a good looking trick there. We're getting a lot of these like sort of stall into the crook and then fall into the tail slide. Scraping of the tail right there. Uh, yeah, uh, kickflip, <laughs> kickflip no stall, <laughs> speechless. Here we get the switch gay comply, but also heel on the ground. So the video is getting progressively worse and I think what could make a lot of this better is tightening the trucks, but then, I don't know, maybe he's learning good habits with the loose trucks. We get the uh, the step off into the pole jam, into the tic tac, into the toe drag, into the can't ride straight, into the ride into the dirt, into the jump off the skateboard. Why is that even included in this video? I don't know, final trick, whatever. For your final trick, considering that you're going zero miles per hour, to not redo it to fix the tic tac, Another thing that I just don't understand. What's loading? My brain is loading trying to figure out why some of these tricks weren't redone. 
Was this literally the best version of that trick you could do? Or is the bar so low that you don't want to make your skating look any better? As far as roll up, roll away, framing, uh, diversity of tricks, I would say this was a great video. Just the sloppiness of a lot of these tricks and how uncontrolled a lot of these tricks looks doesn't really do you any favors, especially if, and I know it's not, but if this was like a sponsor tape situation, you wanna make yourself look as good as possible. And right now you're, I mean, I don't wanna reuse the word lazy, but you can do these tricks, man. I believe you can. Why don't you believe you can? You can, you have the skills and tools to redo this trick. Why not roll back up, roll back down switch, and get a good one? I don't know. Um, sloppiness gives this video six out of 10. Moving on to the next video. This one's called Wizard Skates Inc. Coming soon by Greg Sweet. We have reviewed this guy several times. All right, I'm back. My cell phone was going off. We've reviewed this guy before, and I think overall it's always been good. So let's rewind and play. We also review this guy quite often. Uh, switch, wait, what was that? Switch, switch Wally into a nose grind. Wow, starting off with a bang. Uh, what I was gonna say is he's coming out with footage all the time, and he seems to keep switching it up I've never seen all these switch wallies. I tried to do a regular wally to grind in a video last week and failed. So this is already kind of inspiring. Switch nose grind here. Switch back nose grind. I don't, see from what I remember this guy did a lot of switch laser flips. And to see, to see a whole new style of, of tricks is, is definitely a step in the right direction. Wait, did he just, why? The switch, Pole jam, rainbow, same trick twice, one involving a rail, one not involving a rail in the middle. Switch 185-0, or should we say nose grind? I don't know. Grinding across and down. See, this is confusing too. So he does these crazy tricks, and then you you watch the weird, like, kind of un like uncontrolled front 50-50 after we've seen this guy in the past do switch laser flip grind. Uh, it's interesting what I don't know, I guess which tricks give some people problems. We get the nolly, nolly front grind, nolly flip here. Why is the filming so freaking high? Is this a drone up in the sky? We got some fake, oh wait, look at the shadow. The guy's filming like this. <laughs> it looks awful. See, look, and then we get the rocket flip. Again, the guy has so many technical tricks and then you give him a, a regular kick flip and he rockets it straight up in the air. Doesn't catch it at all. It's interesting uh, just how people's styles differ. But what I was saying earlier, it's impressive that this guy's always coming out with new footage, always grinding. This is kind of what you'd like to see. Again, this is not a sponsor tape, but you want to see progression. And that doesn't just mean like, oh, I did a trick down a four stair. Now I did it down a five and then a six and then a seven. Progression also means changing your whole game plan, right? We're not, we haven't gotten any switch laser flips yet. He's changed it up completely. Switch big spins. He's going switch front side, switch back side. We're getting nollies. We have seen this trick before, but maybe not in a line, right? We get the gazelle. Are you guys impressed that I've heard of a trick before? I don't know what that was. Are we gonna call that an impossible? What, wait, what's he doing? It wraps around. Okay, nolly, whatever. I already, like you guys already know, I'm, I'm not good at just naming the tricks, right? Nolly inward heel 360, I guess. Nolly heel front lip. We get the heel flip back grind. Heel hanging off, would have redone that one. Heel flip back lip perfectly. Also with that style, kind of reminds me of like a Cody Mack style with the, the slanted hips. Um, like, like, I don't know, it's, it's a smoothness, right? Obviously, obviously he's not the exact same style. I, I say things on this series and then in my head, I think about how a loser would comment, and then I feel like I try to correct myself. Like, I just said that his style slightly resembled Cody Mac in that particular trick. I know someone's gonna say, hey, well, well, he's way bad, he's nowhere near as good. And I'm like, I, I didn't say that, I said that trick slightly resembled. All right, moving on. We get the Nolly Inward Heel 180, fakey hard flip revert. 
Uh, you also gotta respect, or at least I respect, this is all like a one-man army, right? He brings the tripod, he brings the tricks, he sets the camera up, he goes out, he skates, he lands the tricks, and he lands most of them really clean. Not too much roll-up, not too much roll-away, keeps you guessing on every trick. And I feel like I almost always have the same opinion of this guy. You never know what you're gonna get. Switch, uh, shove, lay flip. What was that? Hold on, I looked away for a second. What flipped it? What's happening here? Oh, what what foot is flipping this? The back foot? Like, the, this foot's doing what appears to be a heel flip, but the board's not spinning heel flip. That's a back foot. So what do we call this? Late, late big flip or back foot big flip? I don't know. I, I don't even know. What is this? <laughs> Hold on. This... It's spinning like a like a uh, front big heel, right? But it's it's kind of late. This reminds me of how Alex Mole used to do switch front big heel. If you guys could ever go find that on YouTube somewhere back in the day on an on video or something, that brings back the memories. So, wow, this is this is a great video. I I really loved that in the beginning it was all switched up, right? The switch nose grinds, switch wall rides. We get nollie, we get switch, we get rails, we get manuals. He he always delivers everything. I mean, and he might even be catering to Ninja Review. My only criticism would be, and this is really reaching. Well, you know what? Never mind. I, now I finally have a real criticism. Is this terrible tic tac? My only real criticism would be how does all of this um, translate to street? I don't know. Wow, another trick that we don't see very often. The Nolly Laser Blunt. Haven't seen that since Dan Peugeot. If you guys remember whatever video that was, he did it on a table. Wow, we get some late flips. Like, I, I don't even know what's going on. I just know I'm impressed. I don't know what we scored him last time out of 10, but I would say today Greg gets a 9.9 out of 10 just because I spent... The whole episode sucking his dick, and then he does a tic-tac at the very end? Come on, dude. I noticed that this is called Wizard Skates Inc. coming soon, and I don't want to give bad information, but I think he's pressing his own skateboards. Last couple years, I've been working towards producing my own board company, and this is a collage of all my best clips on my prototypes since the beginning of 2023 to August 2023. So that's... Not a lot of time to put together three, oh, almost four minutes of footage that hasn't been seen before. I can certainly respect that because I only put out a collage once a year. So this guy's really out there putting in the work. And if he can do these tricks on this skateboard, maybe they're worth checking out. So certainly subscribe to this guy. I'm sure he'll give you more information about his brand in the future, but... Again, Greg, I appreciate you submitting your footage. I appreciate everyone submitting their footage. Also, a link to both of these videos will be in the description below if you want to watch these videos with music. If you would like to submit your footage to me, that would make me so happy as long as you follow the instructions correctly. Remember, a lot of people don't. Step one, if you want to submit footage, find me on Facebook or find me on Instagram. Send me a DM. Inside the DM, write these exact words. This is for Ninja Review, and then give me a YouTube link. Make sure the YouTube link is HD. Make sure the aspect ratio is 16 by nine, which means no square footage, no Snapchat, no vertical real footage, no VX footage, no footage of you and your friends dancing around shirtless, no video game footage, which I got last week, which was weird. Someone sent me a video of them playing Call of Duty and said, review this. I don't know what you're fucking thinking. Anyways, I check those DMs once a week, usually on Monday or Tuesday. So I look forward to getting submissions from you guys. Look, this guy's putting out footage every three months. I would love it if you guys all did that, especially because then I would be able to gauge and track your guys' progress, at least according to me. Remember, what I say here is just my opinion. I'm not telling you guys, this is how you must skate, but I try to explain my reasoning in these reviews, and the goal is to make you guys better skaters 
and better video makers. The worst thing anyone can do in a review situation is let you drag your heels on the ground and let you do tic tacs and just go, Mah, that was cool, Mah, that was cool, Mah, as long as you're having fun. No, not here guys. I try to give you guys the truth. Clearly a lot of your friends are lying to you, which is why this series is necessary. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. YouTube does their best to hide my videos from the public. Only you can prevent the censorship of Ninja Lifestyle, so tell a friend about the channel. We upload three, sometimes four, five videos every single week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow with another video. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.